Welcome everyone. Welcome to week six. And we're starting to really focus down on the course and we're coming to the end here. In week six, I want you to start focusing on the paper and what you're gonna be looking at with the paper. And I created the paper, it's up on the top there, but that's gonna be your final thing that you wanna focus on. And that'll be due next week, I think. But really focus on the paper of what we're looking at in the course. Trying to bring all the concepts together. For this week, we're going to have a discussion board and a quiz. On the discussion board topic, you're going to be focused on, I think it's an interesting thing, respond to both topics. Which examples in the textbook did you find most interesting or helpful? So I think it really will help me later on to gauge what did you like, what didn't you like. And uh, I, think it, I think it's an important thing to look at because a lot of other students will be taking this course and I think it gives them a little guidance to what we're looking at to make you know, appropriate analysis. Because some people don't really, um, maybe not like the book as much, but that's fine, but I need to know what things do you like more than others. You really make it helpful. Then identify any new products, either services or good that your company has introduced or you've seen if you don't work for a company that's introduced anything. And what I want you to do is, what type of capital investments does it illustrate? Discuss any specific problems in preparing a capital budget for the investment. So when you saw that capital investment, what are some of the problems that maybe have created? And I think you'll find it challenging. Even you can research it if you don't have enough information. But I think you'll find it challenging because a lot of firms are facing a lot of challenges today and they don't know how to make the uh, appropriate analysis to really focus in on their firms. So really look at that one. I think you'll like that question. Now, we'll also have a quiz this week, and the quiz is going to be only over Chapter 4. So let me give you some of the questions that you might see on the quiz. You're going to have five true-false and then five multiple-choice questions. Now remember, when you start the quiz, you have to complete it at that point. So make sure to really focus on getting that completed. So now, first question is, is it possible for a company to post a healthy net income but still not have the cash needed to pay its employees, suppliers, or creditors? So we're going to look at that balance sheet. Question two is looking at the statement of cash flow, and it shows the changes in the income statement between periods. Is that true or false? Question three is looking at the four points of a cash statement. What are the four uh, parts of it? Question four is looking at payments for purchase of inventory, operating expense, and interest. What are they classified as on the statement of cash flow? Now, those were all multiple choice questions. When you look at the other questions, we're going to be looking at discussion. Or, I'm sorry. We're going to be looking at multiple choice. So question five is looking at the statement of cash flow. How is it useful to the analyst? Why do you think that's useful? Question six, proceeds from borrowing and issuing the firm's own equity securities are examples of financing cash inflows. Is that true or false? Question seven, which of the following is not true with regard to preparation of a cash flow statement? So I'm going to give you four examples. Which one are not true with preparation? Question eight is looking at operating activities on a statement of cash flow. Which ones would be classified as operating activities on that statement of cash flow? Okay, which one would be classified? Question nine, look at the following items and which are classified as in investing activities on the statement of cash flow. So investing. And then question 10 is looking at financial activities. Which one are financial activities located on the cash flow statement? Another thing I need you to do is I sent you guys, every, everyone, an email last week. And it doesn't hurt, it does not affect your grade at all, but I'm looking for you to give me some feedback on how I'm doing, what things you would like to be changed, what you like, what you don't like. I think it's more helpful than the actual surveys because I can actually get content from that. So make sure to send that email back to me because I really appreciate your effort you've doing so far in the course. If you have any questions, just let me know, but I look forward to your effort this week.